guy literally sent me a picture, like a video recording his penis. Recording? Yeah. Like. <laughs> as in, it was. Call that man. I called the call. Maybe I was like, I come on my high school. I come on my high school. Because what my idol saw around. I had to remove my girl. I was like, what, 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 what's going on here? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lami Lami. If you're just joining us for the very first time, welcome. And if you're already part of the family, welcome back. So today I have here with me Jennifer, aka Jenny Coco. She's also a YouTuber, so do check her out. And um, yeah. Hey guys, my name is Jennifer, aka Jenny Coco, here on YouTube. Yes, I'm girl. assuming Lamde is going to put my name on the screen. Yeah. And I'm a YouTuber in Lagos, Nigeria. So guys, please check me out. Today we're just going to be talking about our experiences as makeup artists in Nigeria mm -hmm. and we're also going to be taking you guys back to where we met. Apparently we've been like friends since high school, like secondary school in Nigeria. I wouldn't necessarily say we were friends. Okay fine, we're not friends. <laughs> but <laughs> we're we knew we were still partners. Yeah, okay, so the very first day Jennifer resumed school, she sat right next to me. Mom used to call me Jennifer. So I thought, like, yeah, I told Jen, we're like, oh, you really? You remember? Yeah. And then she became a border. See, there's a thing with borders. I don't understand. <laughs> I see, borders always from this kind of thing that I do not understand. I was a nice student. Because you way. see borders every single day in school, outside. So you got like school. sisters? Yes, not like sisters per se, Sister but like we just. We just we grew closer more, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. you just grew closer to brothers as opposed to these students. So, yeah, I guess. Moving on. <laughs> when she became a brother, she fashioned me. For some oh, reason, she like... left my class. Okay, she was moved to another class. Yeah. Yeah, so that was in GS2. You resumed the GS2. Oh, wow, okay. I have yeah. a good memory. Wow. Where did I do my dress? Oh, yes, 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 yes. You see? Yes. yes okay, yes. so yeah, so moving forward, um, we finished high school mm -hmm. and then she, she's an in it girl, like in it. She then moved to <laughs> the abroad. You know, we were still hustling for. She's an in it. Yeah, she's an in it girl. And then she, she moved Clearly, to the, the UK. Accent, so. accent, like, is that you really want to? I don't want to. That's it! <laughs> And then she moved and um, we were still here stuck in this country we called country, Nigeria. <laughs> so yeah, basically I went about to do my school and then I came back, I studied law by the way, and then I came back to Nigeria. I shouldn't have, that was the biggest mistake I, I, I made. Why? Right. I came back because I needed to do law school. Okay. And I just thought to myself, so I asked like older students like is it preferable is it preferable that i did my um law school first before masters and every one of them seemed to buy the idea they're like oh yeah i'm in nigeria for my law school is good come to law school then do your master yeah. did you so, start, sorry did you do your nyc wait now so i now finished the uh, law school i was like oh that girl i'm going to law school they're saying i should serve before i go for masters is yeah. it advisable you're like yes it's advisable it's true so that you know that when you're going you're not coming back for anything again i was like okay fine let me do my nyc which makes total sense no i'm not sure i want to go for the master's yeah i think at the time that was like the time i some kind of contacted you via mm -hmm. instagram and he sent me your phone number mm -hmm. and then i sent you a message on whatsapp and we started talking from there however she didn't really talk to me like talk to me we were really really close um, it was when she became a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. That was when I feel like Jennifer actually got into the social media life lifestyle mm -hmm. before many of us because yeah. she had always been more like an influencer all her life, but she just didn't know. <laughs> she was still going to be around, honest, I around wish around I wish I stuff. stayed true to the course because yeah, I was fond of taking pictures. Yeah, and, and I admired that a but lot. But not not like, maybe you say you, but I felt yeah. like you love Rega nights were on social media. No, well. well, me, let me speak for myself. Like, we're on social mm. media quite all right, but we were not really, you know, before influencing became a thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was what I was doing, to be honest. Without I would just knowing, dress yeah. up and then take pictures with my sister. We yeah. literally just dress I remember my boy picture, Rihanna had the same exact outfit. White and black. And yes. Yeah, I, I took that, that and people yeah. were staring at me. Oh my goodness. I was yeah, like, that hey, was Jesus was Christ. Like, was I was like, I hope they think I'm Rihanna. <laughs> 
See, when you're talking about women supporting women, <laughs> this is her right here. Because, you know, even my YouTube channel, you actually um, encouraged me and inspired me to start my YouTube channel. It wasn't easy, I can't even lie. Um, but yeah. But she, she told me was... it so easy. Like, she is into it as well, to be oh, honest. I was like, you. are you sure this girl was not on YouTube before? <laughs> no, yeah. I wasn't. It wasn't easy. She just told me, I'm start, you know, you know when they keep pushing you, I'm going start this thing. So she didn't tell me it was going to be this. I can't say it's that, you know, difficult, yeah. but, you know, it's, it's not you go through some It's challenges. a lot of work, to be honest, but when yeah. you enjoy what you're doing, I feel like sometimes you have your moments, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But most times it's almost like, mm, I'm doing this, but it doesn't really feel like work. So speaking of makeup artistry, um, what has been your experience? Have you had like weird experiences? Especially when it comes to social media. Mm -hmm. I actually feel like I've had weird experiences, but not as much as you have. <laughs> because Lavender always has one experience or the other. And yeah. when she's telling me the story, I'm just opening my mouth like, ah, ah, <laughs> she gets. So, yeah. yeah, let me tell you one experience that I had that I thought was really weird. Okay. It was someone wanted to get um, their makeup done. I'm saying yeah because I, I don't know if it was a man or a oh, female yeah. or if it was an actual client. Yeah. So, he goes, um, the person goes and um, hi and um, how much do you do your makeup blah 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 so he sent or the person sent like the whole info like what they wanted to know just in one message i opened my instagram i replied them like oh, okay fine um can you come to so -so and so please i was like yeah sure no problem but it didn't even click i mean these are the things that you should watch out for their profile picture yeah, their pictures sure. you know and just stuff like that but it didn't even click it was until i told one of my friends and he was like mm, how does the person look like I was like, hmm, that's a good question. I so you didn't even don't know. know. <laughs> it's not like a black picture, but yeah. it didn't click that I should. Yeah. Yeah, and this was way after, um, you know, the stories came that some yeah. lady was killed Make in a parties, hotel. Rob, exactly. Raped and all sorts she of get, So I was a bit scared. I was like, mm -mm, not me, not today, Sita. I think um, upcoming makeup artists should actually watch this video and um, learn one or two things from this because mm -hmm. it's a serious issues that makeup artists always go through yeah we hear of rape and psychotic people everywhere Internet. thinking talking about um weird experiences i am the queen <laughs> of weird experiences <laughs> okay so quick one um there's this okay someone sent me a message on whatsapp and the person was like oh hi i got your contact via instagram and i was like oh okay cool i was you know i was happy clients right and for me, when I want to, just like Jennifer said, I always go to their page, check their names or their followers to be sure that I check their followers and their followers, 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 you know. I was like, okay, please, can you send me your Instagram handle? That way I can actually check. And the person was like, oh, okay. No, the person kept avoiding that question. And the person was like, how much do you charge for your home service or studio? And I was like, okay, so studio prices, da -da -da -da, and home service depends on your location. And... All of a sudden, the person started calling me via you know, video call. Like, why would you do that? No and excuse, no permission. Jay, yeah, the person just called me, and I, oh, I, I, I was like, um, I'm sorry, we don't do video calls, we only do voice calls. The person was like, uh, okay, so I'd like to know the person I'm sending my money to. I want to see the person in, I want to see the person's face. So I was like, okay, it makes total sense. No video calls, just voice calls. However, if you want to see my pictures, you can as well go back to my page. The person called me again via video call. I was like, ah, what's going on, you know? So I kept my phone up in my room. I went downstairs to pick up something. And by the time I came upstairs, I had like six to seven missed calls, video calls again. I was getting disturbed, let me put it that way. So I then told the person that um, you're beginning to make me feel uncomfortable and if you continue calling me like this, I might be forced to block you, mm -hmm. regardless. Clients or no clients, mm -hmm. you know, that's my space, right? Yeah. But I was trying to just another friend what was going on while just in the person on my phone. The person called again and I mistakenly picked the call. <gasps> so, immediately, <laughs> so immediately I picked the call. I just stretched my hand to the front <laughs> because, you know, we've been hearing different stories of hypnotizing you know, when yeah. you see... That's another things. like whole yeah thing, like, exactly. Yeah. So when you see certain things, you just end up going like a zombie. Get your account number <laughs> and all. And I kid you not. <laughs> I, I cannot even I, I cannot even say it. Like <laughs> when I oh god, this guy literally sent me a picture like a video recording his. Picture. 
recording yeah like <laughs> as if it was all that mad this guy is like this is, this is the kind of guy that would rape because for you to, and they, you know what, he didn't even get my number from my personal page. I'll probably say, oh, okay, that's because he was saying a beautiful picture and yes. all of that stuff. But he got my contact from my business page. So you don't even know which one is my picture, right? And you don't really even see my picture on my business page. So I feel like that person, first of all, is psychotic. The person is a rapist. The person is a thief. The person is everything bad. Period. <laughs> no, it's true. Because... Yeah, that's crazy. That's really for you to crazy. carry your phone and then start calling someone you do not know. It means like I, I, I saw it, I just caught the call. I caught the call and I was like, I call my high school <laughs> I call my high school <laughs> because what my idol saw around. <laughs> you know, so um, it's just really, really crazy. Oh, and um, of late, I another guy, this one actually got my contacts, it got my undo from a comment section. Who does that? German yeah, so I feel like a makeup artist should be more careful. Yeah, we really, really, like, really, really, really need to gone through a lot for us to fall victim for. Have you had any funny experience with your clients as well? What do you mean funny? Like, like you know, the, the craziest experience. Okay, yeah, I've had one actually, and I believe I'm not sure if I mentioned this in one of my videos, but I'm not sure. So basically, I had I got a job from two sisters came to my studio. To okay. Just make inquiries. You know, they paid me half of my mo half of my money to come. You know, do the makeup the next day. I went to the house, got my box. At first, they told me, let's say, just like in your other video, they told me, let's say, I was supposed to work on three people, and eventually I ended up working for one person. I gave them like. I think I mentioned this in my yeah, like, last in video. Other video. Yeah. At first, I asked this babe, "What's your skin type?" She said she was really, really oily and everything. So, so I started her makeup and she was complaining that the shade I, that no actually she told me she was like oh that I would have to use her foundation and that she used this when she was in America blah blah blah. I said no problem, she didn't go ahead. She said go ahead and why is it that clients don't always listen? I don't know because they always feel like they know best to be honest. <laughs> but anyways, that's that's basically one of the experiences I've had I've had. I've not had like crazy experiences, but do you have any um, I've had Thank crazy you. experiences. I think that was one of the reasons why I did the last video that I had on the, the okay. mistakes that make up on this always make. Yeah. My friend called me and told me, oh, like, we have we have a party. I was like, oh, okay, how many people are doing makeup? She's like, oh, like five of us, I mean, like six of us. I was happy. I gave them like 50% discount. Wow. Each. Uh, I started hearing different stories. Ah, me, I cannot make it though. Ah, I think, ah, me, I don't think I have money for you though. I think I have money for myself. Oh, and you know, there's a thing about you getting to the client space and not being able to change exactly. the price. So I feel like you should always um, be able to balance things up so yeah. that way you don't feel like you've been used or you don't feel like. So basically, what I do now is I tell if they're like, okay, um, sometimes I stand my ground on the price, thing, yeah, yeah, sometimes honest, but sometimes if they persist. Like this, da 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 da. There are a lot of people. I'll be like, okay, fine. I'll give you this discount, but never fifty percent. Never, never, never. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll give you this discount, but yeah. if the number reduces, it reverts back to the old price. Yeah. Just what really struck me was another one of their friends actually did a makeup as well, but not with me. She called her own makeup artist, and guess how much the makeup artist charged? Twenty thousand. The makeup artist charged twenty k. And when they told you know they should have actually kept it to themselves, they now decided to tell me again and make me feel stupid. But when the girl came upstairs and I saw her makeup, I didn't really see much difference mm. between the makeup I did and what the lady did. I had to think of my life all over again. <laughs> what am I doing? You know, because you, you, you need to give account mm -hmm. for this makeup product, right? This month, they're quite expensive, mm -hmm. you know. So when you keep using it without accounting for them, it doesn't make any sense. I felt really bad, I felt used. Let's uh, rise it up. Hmm, and so you don't use, um, so it doesn't end in tears. <laughs> so we've come to the end of this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, be sure to follow Jennifer on our Instagram page at well at Jennifer. It's spelled J E three double N Y P H E R. And a business page. Rise and Glam Beauty. My business page is Beauty by Lamy at Beauty by Lamy. So um please be sure to check us out and yeah, but, but like the best. I don't know why we put on seats yet. <laughs> but
So yeah, I'm sure when you check it out, you know, you know, right? So yeah. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys.